Actually, from the very inception, as Craig and I met for the first time at a restaurant, and we were talking about Agile and how do we do this, how, we, how do we put it together, we thought we really need to give back to the areas, the communities in which we're doing business. The Glenn and I are both, you know, we've been pretty successful in our lives, and, and but we wanted to always give back. You know, we're much as given, much as expected, and we wanted to set up a foundation from day one. The idea of the foundation, or its birth, occurred simultaneously with the birth of, of Agile. When I to tell Mark and I that we felt touched. Well, the experience in Nigeria was certainly one that was life-changing for me. I've been in Nigeria a couple of times, and Nigeria is a dichotomy. You have terrible poverty, lack of infrastructure. I believe that in all of my visits, I've only seen two working stoplights. But on the other hand, you also have wonderful people. They try to help one another. They, uh, they're they're always looking for the good in other people. I've met many families that are striving to to overcome the challenges that they have. We were able to meet there with uh, Dr. Hassan, who is the head of the, the Vision Institute, uh, which is an eye clinic in Lagos, Nigeria. He recently uh, through donations of, of various foundations. He was able to build a magnificent uh, surgical center. As we looked for these opportunities, we became aware of a clinic that offered free treatment for eyesight. And as we considered that opportunity to give a child eyesight, or to give a father of a family or a mother of a family eyesight. Not only would it affect them that day, it would affect them throughout their entire life. It was just marvelous to see some small children. There were teenagers and there were older folks. And some of these old men and women um, had had cataracts all their lives. Well now they were here, They. They brought them into a, a room where a Dr. Oki, who's an associate of Dr. Hassan, examined them and then he made appointments with them to be at a certain place at a certain time where they'll perform surgery to remove those cataracts and literally restore their vision. They have not been able to see their entire lives. Well, what a thrill that was. And we approached the clinic and asked them what type of materials they would need. And they said what they really needed was that apparently the interior of Nigeria, which accounts for 30 million people, really don't have any eye care facilities or any way of, of offering treatment to people with eye disease. So they asked for portable equipment. This equipment, they could go out into um, a church someplace, or a, an office, or wherever it might be, and set up a mini surgical center and, and operate on, on people's eyes. Through the generosity of Agile and its team members worldwide, we are able to affect the lives of thousands of families throughout the world every year for many years to come. It's just a thrill to, to, be, you know, to be part of something like this. You know, and I had kind of in my mind, you know, what was going to happen, what we were going to do, but I, I in no way was prepared for what I saw. Just how old? Five? Four. Four. Eight years old. Mentally and emotionally, uh, these little children, these beautiful eyes, and, and most of them, well, all of them were there, for, you know, preparing for operations. The foundation 
was prepared to do. And I just wasn't prepared, you know, to look in these children's eyes and, and become emotionally attached to them immediately. You know, we were kind of doing high five. And, and I think one of the most interesting things is, as the, one of the nurses was explaining, these children that come sometimes come from villages and, and, and in their villages, they're, they're an outcast. You know, for whatever reason, you know, they're not accepted by the other children because they're, they're different. But they come into this home, you know, waiting for their, their surgery, and the second day they're there, they're normal. And these are, this is life changing what the children are about to go through. I mean, and most of the children, you know, they'll, they'll get right back into mainstream, and all of a sudden they'll be accepted, they'll be, they'll be normal. But without these operations, you know, the operations, the procedures, you know, they, they would never be normal. They would always be an outcast. But there was this one, one little girl who was uh, getting ready to go home, and she had had uh, several operations on her feet. Uh, she, she had club feet and was walking for years on her ankles. And now she... She had a nice new dress on, and she had some new black shoes, and her feet were straight out in front of her body. A whole new outlook comes to them because now they're acceptable in society, and, uh, and they can live lives of, of great worth and, uh, and accomplish great things. As a foundation, we were looking for, our goal is to affect the lives of people around the world, especially families. We were able to, you know, to pay Ash, Ash Capital off a couple months ago and become debt free. You know, that, that changes everything for us. Now we're able to, to do the thing that was just as important to us as Agile. That's making a difference in the world, one child at a time. My hope is that at Agile World, those who are participating will get involved in the Agile Cares Foundation, allowing us to empower people in all these different markets around the world where they don't have the ability. So, to all of you involved, get involved in Agile Cares and let's change people's lives. Let's empower them to not only change their lives for a day or their family's life for a day, let's allow them to change it for a lifetime.